Hey guys, Flair here. I wanted to make this video to talk a bit about Samurai, a bit on Samurai optimization, to answer some of the questions that I get frequently asked on, on how you can approach a new raid tier as Samurai, and a bit on melee uptime. Melee uptime is basically how effectively you keep your GCD rolling while staying near the boss, staying maximally, dodging mechanics effectively without dying, going out and using gap closes to ensure that you get the maximum out of your damage. I highly suggest you guys to watch Momosama's video guide on melee optimization which he made in Heaven's Ward. It is still effective today as he explains in depth about ghost bars, about animations and about how you should keep your GCD rolling and CPM. The next thing I want to talk about is stat priority. As a samurai you want to get super megash off cooldown as soon as possible, get to use Meikyu on Geiko and Kasha and not Yukikaze, use Hagakure effectively to ensure that you get the most DPS as possible. To do this you need to go on a skill speed GCT tier first. After that you prioritize item level and then you go for critical hit over direct hit rate and determination. About the openers, some people ask me why I do Hakaze Shifu first and not Hakaze Jinfu first. The reason for this is by doing Hakaze, Jinfu and Gekko, you're basically risking yourself to lose a GCD by the end of a fight or by the end of a phase. At worst cases, you could lose a mid array, which is 1200 potency loss, and the potency gained instead by doing Hakaze, Shifu, Kasha and then into Hakaze, Jinpu, Geko is much better than risking losing a GCD. Next let's talk about Samurai optimization. On Samurai optimization you might have noticed that some people use Seigan over Shintan or some people use a lot of Seigans. The reason for this is when you account per Kenki, Seigan has more potency than Shintan. This is because Seigan only uses 15 Kenki while Shintan uses 25 Kenki. So for example if you were to use like 10, Shin 10 Seigan sorry, you would be getting additional Shintans. As a samurai you would also want to minimize using Meikyo on Yukikaze. The reason for this is because doing Yukikaze only costs you 2 GCDs. Doing Hakaze into Kasha and Hakaze into Geko costs you 3 GCDs. Thus, using Meikyo into Geko and Kasha is much better than Yukikaze. However, at times you will have to use Meikyo into Yukikaze, especially if you messed up your loop or you're going ad hoc to bad rotations, etc. This really depends on to you, but I will not be talking about ad hoc on this video as ad hoc requires you a more in-depth knowledge about Samurai. On multiple targets, make sure to optimize Samurai, you use Guren instead of Sene, as Guren is a higher potency gain over multiple targets. Make sure to use Meditate effectively during boss downtimes to ensure that you get Shohas and extra Kenki usage. Make sure to use your melee tooltips, that is using Feint to mitigate damage, using Second Win and Blood Buff to ensure that uh, you heal yourself in case of emergency cases, to use Side Eye to help your healers mitigate and heal yourself less. Now let's talk about the openers. You might have noticed that I uploaded a video that has 10 different Samurai openers. The thing is, all these openers are in optimizing mostly and are only situational. It's not like using a specific open, opener, sorry, it's gonna make you not being able to clear a fight. If you use Sigai Mana first, it's gonna make you clear a fight as much as using Midari first. I highly suggest you guys to use Higa Mana first as it flows up 
with your rotation very effectively with the fillers as well. To demonstrate Higamana once again, I will go on the dummy, doing Hakaze into Ikishoten, Shifu into Kasha, Hakaze, you use a potion here, Jinpum, ensuring that you use Kaiten on Hidden Bana to get that extra potency on your dot. Go into Gekko, make your Yukikaze into Shintan, and then Kaiten, your Midari, and then your Tsubame into Shoha, and then Gekko and finishing your opener, and then you continue on. That's all for the video guys, thank you for watching, see you guys later on.